Hello Leo and welcome to Soul Sundays. Leo, it's a quick three card spread, one for your mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Leo. Please tell me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for their week ahead. Can I please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul. All right, my lions, how are you doing? It's um, it's a bit of an intense week coming up. I know I talked a lot about Jupiter, Jupiter moving into signs last week, but for you this week, um, I feel like um, it's going to be massive. And I say this because there's a lot going up in the skies that affects you. So what we don't realize is that the moon's currently in Aries, okay? Um, and it's aligned to Chiron and Chiron's known as the the wounded healer the planet or the asteroid whichever you want to refer to it as is the wounded healer it's the one that actually allows us to to heal of things or the sorrow or the pain in our heart the heartbreak and hurt and things that people have done to us and for you uh, it dates back to the 16th of um, uh, July right 16th or 17th of July this year I want you to think back to whatever it was that you were doing in that time period um, I'm just laughing at your cards because they're so beautiful um, that time period and whatever it was that was challenging and you held you back if you've been doing the healing work and releasing and letting go since then then this is going to be an easy time period for you if you haven't then it could very well be a very challenging week um, Chiron's going direct on the 12th of the 12th and that's significant because on that same day we have a full moon in the sign of Gemini okay Gemini is ruled by Mercury the messenger um, and usually the key attributes are all about um, you know curiosity um, enthusiasm joy wit but on the negative side they can be quite challenging all right um, this full moon on the 12th of the 12th, Chiron going direct on the 12th of the 12th, is no coincidence. A lot of uh, astrologers, a lot of Reiki masters, theologists, spiritual healers, which, whatever you want to refer to that kind of realm as, have this belief or this ideology that the 12th of the 12th is a gateway or a portal to enlightenment. Okay, and that's what's coming up this week. For those that hold that belief, I'm going to talk through it. For those that don't, the message is not for you. So the ideology is, is that from our 3D, we evolve up to 5D, a higher level of consciousness as we align to the age of Aquarius and we're getting into more levels of consciousness, okay? This is for the guys and the girls that are awoke, that meditate, that have that connection, that are very conscious. The idea is, is that on the 12th of the 12th, when that full moon comes in, and for a lot of us, will you believe it, for those in the Northern Hemisphere, in the US, in the UK, for those that are up the top, uh, it is actually at 12, 12 a.m. Can you believe that? I'm not making it up go google it for us in the southern it's uh at 3 12 2 12 p.m on the 12th of the 12th it's always on the 12th right no matter where you're located for india or the other countries watching it's significant because the idea is is that we're going to get a leveling up a raising vibration that light codes are going to come through in energy and it's going to be turned into matter and it's literally going to transform us um whenever and it's it's an ascension process right Whenever this kind of energy comes through, you'll find that you're not sleeping very well in terms of the 3D, you're not able to process information correctly, you could be feeling a little bit fuzzy, okay? So if you're already feeling those things now, it's already started for me last night because I'm ultra sensitive, I connect in, then you'll be starting to notice those things coming through, change in appetite, change in heat patterns, hot, cold, um, flushes, that kind of thing, okay? And that just means that you're preparing to level up. If you can, and this resonates with you on the 12th of the 12th, you don't have to do it exactly at 12, 12 midnight. I want you to meditate and go within and connect to the energy because you will find that you will level up in ways that I can't even describe to you now. For those of you that that doesn't resonate, I want to bring it back to the more science and the 3D basis of the, the, um, the idea, right? At the same time as we have this full moon in the sign of Gemini, we also have a conjunction between Venus, Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn and the two are aligned. They're coming together with this conjunction. OK, what does it mean? Anything in your life that is causing you dissatisfaction, fear, anger, anything that's not right, not vibing right. And particularly when it comes to matters of the heart, of love, of relationships, of friendships um, and even for some of you professional areas of work, you're going to cut it out. 
okay it will be the end this 12th of the 12th this full moon is coming in to close out a cycle and the reason for that is because whatever no longer serves you is getting ready to be cut out and i say that with um much light in my heart because you've drawn the card of the five of hearts the the card of sorrow or what is known in tarot as the depression card for some of you because your next card that you've drawn out for your physical body is relationship you could very well be ending a relationship this week with someone now it doesn't have to be romantic although that is the vibe that i'm getting for your sign it's about ending a romantic relationship and it's so you can do that so that you can bring in a new one and i'm just looking back at all yeah at all um my notes for you there's someone new that's around you leo that you have either manifested or you're trying to bring in but you need to release the past it could be someone that you met on or around the 16th or 17th of july we had mercury retrograde then which is ironic that mercury is direct now in this in its in this full moon's in its sign of gemini um or it could be just a friend a family member or a workplace that you need to let go of because it no longer brings you joy okay at the the very basis of this card is feeling melancholy, feeling like you're you're losing out, you've lost. But I want you to know that you're not because you've drawn this beautiful spiritual message that's come through of preservation. This is a stunning card. Although it looks a little bit like Day of the Dead kind of thing, um, the, the message is quite cool. I'm going to find it to you to read it to you verbatim um, so that it's very clear. Um, it says... A dream is dormant, not lost. It's the need to accept something positive, a slow awakening to love, right? Peace is surrendering. Love is vulnerable. Allow yourself to trust and believe that love is here for you because it is Leo. You are safe, protected and loved by the divine. Let love water the seeds of joy, creativity and contentment that lie within you. Um, so really what it's saying is, about accepting the blessings that are coming to you okay that are coming to your heart that are coming to your heart space so that your true self can blossom and the symbolism of this card is really beautiful it's like dying one version of yourself so that you can be reborn into a new okay it's really quite beautiful it's about coming back to your inner child about the things that make you whole that give you life that that breathe life into your everyday world and for some of you, that may be about releasing a relationship that no longer serves you. For some of you, it could be about going, you know what, every time I hang out with that person, you drain me down, you suck my energy. I don't actually enjoy spending time with you. Why do I keep being friends with you? For others of you, it could be deeper. It could be a romantic connection with someone that you've had for quite some time. Or maybe it's something that you've had on again, off again, on again, off again. I'm getting quite that energy as well. It's now time for you to release that and let go. Um, whatever it is, it's all going to work out in your favor, okay? I want you to know that with true, pure honesty in my heart. That's what this card is saying to you. It's all happening so that you can come out a new person. Um, I'm not joking when I say that the 12th of the 12th is massive energy. It's an energy portal. It's going to be leveling up for you. You're going to be reborn. It's like a, a rebirth of who you really are, Leo. And although sometimes that's hard to let go of things and places and people that we once love, it's important so that you can actually live the life that you so deserve. All right, my loves, pretty deep this week. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but you can do it. You're strong. You are my mighty Leos. Uh, if this resonated, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. Write in the comments below. I do read them all. I wish you much love and light. Take care.